Humans have been using roller conveyors for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians used wood rollers to move the large stones needed to build the pyramids. Today's conveyors are more complex, but the basic concept is still the same. Many factories use roller conveyors to transfer materials from one station to another during assembly. They can move heavy loads up to 65 feet in a minute. To make the conveyor rollers, this factory starts with hollow steel tubes. They deliver to the factory in batches. After they arrive, a bandsaw cuts the tubes to length. The diameter can vary from batch to batch, so an employee obtains the exact measurements. He inputs the measurements into a computer that controls this laser. The laser etches the company logo onto a sheet of thick steel and cuts out support discs for the roller axles. The support discs fit perfectly into the hollow rollers. An employee feeds a flat sheet of steel to a computerized brake press. It bends the sheet into a vertical rail for the conveyor frame. Here's the steel before and after bending. A worker joins two vertical rails with steel supports called cross members. He welds them where they meet. This creates the frame for the roller conveyor. Then they paint the frame. The paint isn't just for decoration. It also protects against rust. Next, they install the chain-driven axle that will spin the roller. An employee measures it and confirms its dimensions. Another worker slides three support discs onto the axle. He welds the discs in place. The discs on the end fit snugly to the roller rims. This is why pre-measuring is so important. He welds the disc to the ends of the tubes. He slides roller chain sprockets onto the end of the axle and welds them in place. He uses a dial indicator to measure the circumference of the roller and confirm that it's sufficiently round. Using a forklift, the team lifts the motor and places it in the conveyor frame. They slide the motor's threaded rods into holes drilled in the frame. An employee places metal washers on the threaded rods. Then he screws nuts to them, securing the motor to the frame. He installs a bearing on the end of the roller axle. Next, workers arrange the rollers on the conveyor frame. They place the bearings on the flange of one of the vertical rails. They attach the bearings to the rail with socket screws. One of the workers attaches the welded steel chain to the teeth of the sprocket wheels. He joins the sections of the roller chain with links. Then he drops the ends of the chains down to the motor. The worker loops the chains around the motor sprockets and connects the ends with the joiner plate and retaining clip. Now, they're ready to put this roller conveyor to the test. An employee measures the rotational speed of the rollers with an instrument called a tachometer. He also tests the conveyor's ability to move heavy objects. Once approved, the roller conveyor will be shipped to another factory where it will be an important part of the manufacturing process.